If you've gotten a new credit card or maybe you've opened a new bank account, you might be wondering how do I connect this to my existing QuickBooks Online account? You wanna make sure that the bank feeds are working properly so that you don't have to upload transactions. And if that's the case, you wanna figure out how to get all of this into the system. If you're wondering that, that's what this video is about today. I'm going to walk you through how to connect a new credit card, which is actually the exact same process as a bank account as well. So it just so happens that I have a new credit card that I need to get connected to my QuickBooks Online account. And I was like, well, if I like took me in a couple extra clicks to figure out how it happened, I figured that maybe some of you might have that happen as well. And so let's just make it really easy and show you exactly what to do to connect a new bank account or a new credit card in QuickBooks Online. So we'll get into that in just a second. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you here as a subscriber. We are here to help small businesses with their finances. If that means helping you you know, find out some tips and tricks on QuickBooks Online or pick a new payroll provider or just learn how to be more profitable all around, all of these things are what you'll find here on the Clara CFO Group channel. So if that sounds good, you can go ahead and click subscribe and also if these videos are helpful I would love to know that by either having you give me a thumbs up or if you have any comments or questions please put them in the comment section below because I do read comments so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first hop into the sample company of QuickBooks online to show you how to link up a or, or where to go to start linking your credit card to QuickBooks online but because it's a sample company we can't actually step through all of that process so then I'm gonna jump out into my QuickBooks account and actually step through the process of connecting the credit cards so there'll be a little bit of jumping back and forth but uh, hopefully this will be really smooth for you guys so you can follow okay so let's go ahead and get into QuickBooks all right here we are in the sample company of QuickBooks online and you if you're looking to link a new account you're going to go to your transactions here and then you're going to make sure you're in bank transactions and it will be this screen here that I had when it was showing up so in order to get to the screen, you need to go to transactions and bank transactions. And then you're going to go up here to this button where it says link account. Now do not click this because you will not find what you're looking for. You actually need to cl click on the link account button. And when you do that, you're going to get to this screen and I am trying to connect an American Express. So you can just type in the name of your bank or your credit card and then you'll be able to find something. And then I have a Delta Sky Miles card, so I'm actually gonna go in here. Now what you'll see is that everything here says AmericanExpress.com. It's gonna take you to the same login page. You might see multiple listings of your bank in one way or another. So just try to find the thing that you think most, like best describes what it is. For example, like I, sometimes there'll be different logins, like I bank with KeyBank and like here business banking and regular banking there it looks like they're going to take me to the same place but you might have some where maybe the personal login is different than the business login so you want to make sure that you select the right thing but i'm going to type in american express and then you'll see here this is why we need to go over to the actual working account because i'm basically stopped at this point and i can't actually connect my account to anything so what i'm going to do now is pop over to my account and i'll show you what to do from here all right, so I've gone in and signed into my account, and then this is the screen that I would get after I selected that American Express Delta Sky Miles. So I would click, click continue from here, and then it's gonna have me sign in to my American Express. And so what it wants now is it wants me to sign into my American Express. I'm keeping my username hidden from you guys, that's fine. All right, anytime you log into that account, what it's gonna do is it's gonna recognize if you have one or more accounts associated to that login so in this case i have two delta delta cards i have a personal card and then i have or i have one that was a personal card that's old and then i have a business card so it, it's all under the same login so in this situation i only want to connect the business card so what i want to do is go ahead and check just the business card. I don't want to pull in the information from this other one. And so that will happen. So, you know, sometimes you'll have accounts where maybe you have five or six accounts associated with the same login, and sometimes it'll be personal mixed with business. You want to make sure that you only bring in information related to the business. You don't want to bring in personal information into your business QuickBooks account. Okay, so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to authorize and then it's gonna have me return to Intuit. And then from here, this will say, which account do you wanna connect? And so that's the one that I wanted. And then you will pick the dropdown of 
what type of account you want to start. So this is a credit card. So I'm going to sync it to a credit card. And then with here, you will be able to select how far back do you want to pull this information from. So this might be good if you are trying to get a you know, maybe you just want to pull all the information back for the current year. It will default to that, like everything from the current year. But if you have more of a specific date you want to go to, you can go to custom and you can select the date and how far back you want to pull it from. This this card is not is not very old, so pulling it all from January of 2023 will be more than enough for me. So I will just go ahead and do that. And then I will go ahead and click connect. So now it's working on bringing all of the transactions into QuickBooks Online, and it just takes a few minutes to be able to do that. And that's it. I'm going to say that was pretty easy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, we're all done. Let's go check this out. Okay, so now we can see, now we can see in my bank detail, now I have this Delta Reserve, the one that I just added, and I have all of the information. I have all of the information here and ready to classify and bring it all into the books. It's really that easy. Let's just double check what it looks like now in the chart of accounts. Okay, so what I wanted to do was actually look at the chart of accounts and see what happened when I made that connection. What it did do is it went ahead and created a chart, a, a new account for me. So this is the Delta Reserve card that I just added. Now, earlier before I recorded this video, I went ahead and created a new account for it and it never really gave me the opportunity to line up the import with the account that I had already started. So it used to be able to do that, but I haven't, I didn't see how to do that as we were stepping through the process. So what I'm going to do is actually just delete this old one. I'm going to make inactive this 2310, which I thought I was going to be able to use. And then I'm going to make sure that I number this 20, uh, this new credit card so that it is working within my chart of accounts and the numbering system I like to use. So I'm going to make it a liability account. And it's going to, going to go right under the other American Express card that I have. Okay. And so there it is. And that's all we need to do. All right. So I hope that that video was helpful to show you how to connect your a new credit card or a bank account in your QuickBooks Online account and have all of that be able to be pulled automatically and synced to your accounting system on a regular basis. If you have any questions or I didn't cover anything, please put that in the comment section below. I'd like to hear and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye everybody.